YouTube, what is up? It is your sensei back out again with another video, man. Today we got solo leveling episode three. My reactions to the first two episodes are linked down below, so check those out. Also up here, top right hand corner, check that out. But yeah, last episode, bro, my boy Sun Yin Wu was getting that work. He was getting that work handed to him. They left him on the altar, bloodied. But yeah, let's see what he got today, bro. Yeah, bro, you hear him breathing? That's tough. Yeah, look at all those bodies, 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 bodies. Bro, they about to send this man to the afterlife. If I could have another chance, that's tough. Oh, he woke up in the hospital. My boy is like, oh no, my leg. Do I have my leg? You're gonna be an amputee. Psych. My boy got his legs back. Let's go. Hell no, that wasn't a dream, my boy. You're wildin'. Chief of the surveillance team of the Hunter Association. Hunter Jing Wu is in treatment, bro. She got that PTSD for real. I don't even blame her, bro. Mmm. That's tough. Only six people came back alive. From the double dungeon. Even though the Hunter's job is always in danger, casualties like this rarely happen. When we received reports from the survivors and got through with members of the White Tiger Guild, they only found Sung Jin Wu's body. There were no traces of any temples or statues. Damn. So that shit is still out there and loose? Hell nah. If there were any consistency with your statements or if no corpses were found at the scene, we would be suspicious of you. Yo, my man. Chill out, bro. Hunter Sun Jing Wu, please tell me, have you experienced a reawakening? A hunter's ability is set at the time of awakening and will not change in their lifetime. However, very few hunters will experience a second awakening. They'll surpass their limits and become A rank or S rank. Hey. He's like, did I? Magic power detector. Let's see what his power's at now. No low rank hunter would survive. However, those magic beasts disappeared without a trace. Only A rank, no, only S rank hunters would be capable of that. It's over? <laughs> Bro, it's not even 10. Oh my god, he's got 10 power. More importantly, don't those people care about this thing? Has that shit just been there the whole time, bro? Damn, my boys remember until when he was about to die. You have acquired the qualifications to become a player. Your heart will stop. Do you accept? Yes, always. You should take better care of bro. He was in a dungeon trying to make money for you. Why is he smiling? Because he just survived. You have become a player. Daily quests have arrived. Daily training. The system is designed to assist the development of the player. Failure to comply with the system may result in a penalty. Daily quest. Strength training has arrived. Confirmed. Hey, my boy about to turn into Saitama over here. Yo, look at this. They got him doing 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and he's got to run 10k miles, not miles, kilometers every day, bro. They about to turn him into Saitama for real. I'm in the hospital, so I don't have the strength to do... Nah, bro, you better get to it. You don't want that penalty, trust me. My man about to be doing push-ups every day. That is approaching. Yeah, definitely should be training as much as you can. Bro, is a dungeon just appearing in the middle of the street? <laughs> My boy Sanya Wu about to find out about that penalty. He about to be fucked up. Strength training quest has arrived. Uncompleted. Damn, my boy in the desert. Oh, hell nah, bro. Hell to the nah. Giant desert centipede. Penalty. Survive. Survive four hours. That's the penalty he got for not doing his push-ups. You know what that means, bro? Go to the gym. Go to the gym. I'm about to go to the gym after this. Go to the gym. Oh, he's already been running for two hours? What the fuck? Yeah. 
Bro, my man just ran a marathon, bro. He ran for four hours straight. Come on, Sun Jing Woo. Couple more seconds. Oh, he made it. Yo, that was wild. I'm not gonna lie. You have received a reward. Penalty quest survival. Check your reward. Okay, he passed out before he checked it. Damn, he just hung up on her? He's like, yeah, I gotta get this training done. I'm not doing no more penalties. Fuck out of here. Hey, he's been training every day since he woke up. Okay, he's figured out a few things. First of all, this thing in front of me isn't an illusion. If I complete the daily quest, I can get three rewards. Full recovery. My fatigue is instantly gone. Not gonna lie, full recovery is lit, bro. Full recovery is lit. Especially after doing all the training. Ability points. I can allocate points to the abilities I want to improve. Oh, okay. So he's got strength, agility, perception, vitality, and intelligence. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like he's been dumping them all into strength. I mean, that would help. I would do strength and agility for now, just so he can complete the daily quest on time. You know what I mean? Strength is the most important. Damn, he puts them all into strength. When the ability points increase, I become stronger. My boy is a cheat, bro. We gotta go to the gym. We gotta eat, right? We gotta get our protein in. This man just gets three stats. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, he's got skills. Okay, let's see the skills. That's the daily quest. This is a random box. What the fuck? Is he got a key? A key to what? He got a key to the city because he's that guy. A pen or a band aid. A key for teleporting to an in instance dungeon. It can be used to exit three of the. It can be used at. Oh, oh okay. So he's got a dungeon key. That's lit. Yo, this enemy is now, it's starting to catch up now. Now it's starting to get traction. The first episode was kind of like, it was all right. The second episode was, mm, it was hitting. You know what I'm saying? This episode right now, it's just setting the, the framework, but I'm loving it. I love shit like this, bro. Damn, there's a bunch of new gates. Can gates disappear like anywhere in the world? A B rank gate is crazy. Four years ago. Mom, wake up. She passed out. The final sleep? It's a condition that erased, arose, arose after the gates appeared. It afflicts 1 in 10,000. That's tough. Rumors say it's due to prolonged exposure to mana. But still, with the current medical technology, we can only keep her alive. That's so tough, bro. Hey, my boy was like, my life to turn around. But he's only an E-rank hunter. I'm not gonna lie, bro. 100 push-ups, 100 squats, and 100 sit-ups every day isn't that hard. Especially if you get, like, um, if you get all the, like, the soreness and pain relieved at the end, it's not that hard. You could do that every day. You gotta stay consistent. Damn, he put, bro, he put all of them in the strength. He's like, I don't want agility. I don't want perception. I don't want vitality. I'm already dumb. I just want to be strong. <laughs> Mm, crush an apple, okay. I, I don't know if you're ready for that, my boy. I'm confident in my ability to escape. If it gets dungeon like last time, I'll just run away with all my might. What if you can't exit once you enter? Did you ever think of that? That's why you need to put some points into intelligence, bro. Dungeon. 
See, you can't run away now. You didn't think about that, did you? But I guess it should be similar to a red gate. What a headache. If I thought if this thing went wrong, at least I could run away. Bro, I told you. I told you. You didn't listen to me. You cannot exit the dungeon. You must either defeat the boss or use a teleportation stone. Oh no, it's a goblin. It's three goblins. Bro, come on. You're stronger than before, remember? Weave. Okay, okay. Because holding his own. Okay, Sunjin Wu. Fighting three at once before you couldn't even fight one. Let's go. Bro, fight back. Thank you. Oh my god. Good job. Finally. See, that's what I'm saying. You got to distribute your stats a little more evenly, bro. If you had more agility, you could be like well, dodging and weaving these shits. Mmm. He proved me wrong. He's like, all I need is strength. Okay. Sanjay Wu. Curious. <laughs> Yo, he should not have said that. He's like, I'm stronger now. Instantly regrets those words. Oh, nah. His knife broke again. Okay, he was able to dodge at the last second. If you get injured, it's all over. Nah, for real. He's calling for backup. You better run. Pick up one of the goblins' weapons. What are you doing? And that is the end of the episode. Hold on. Solo leveling. But yeah, guys, that's it in the episode. Let me know what you thought. I really enjoyed that episode. I Like I said, I love all of like the lit RPG fantasy elements of any show. Like I really enjoyed that leveling up, adding stats, picking skills. love all that stuff. I think the animation, I think it was a bit rough in some places. Like that fight with the goblin, it looked a little sketchy sometimes. But overall, it was pretty good. The storyline, I, I like the storyline. The characters are pretty well developed. Overall, I think this is a good anime. It has a lot of potential. Like we already seen with the... um. What the, what is it, the manhwa or the online comic, the web comic was, whatever it was, that was good, obviously. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about that in the comment section. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this reaction. If you want to check out my reactions to the other two episodes or more content, like, they're over there, so click them. You know, click them for your boy. Thank you guys for all the support, and as always, Sensei out. Peace.